Hey, hello, Spin94 here, bringing you a Pokemon free for all battle. Today we've actually got some interesting stuff. I've got an Anox and a Chinchino and a Slurpuff. Julian here is rocking a Dragonite Greninja and Kyogre. Lauren's rocking um, Bear Tick, Arbok, and oh, I forget this Celtic Stag's name. Damn it, I'll, I'll, someone's name in the description will tell me. Then we've got Star Raptor, Noivern, and Toxicroak here. All pretty deadly Pokemon, and this battle definitely goes to show you why you should definitely never give up in a Pokemon battle because even the wild situation could be turned around if you just play right and get a bit lucky as I say. With free throws as I say you can be heavily targeted at the start if you just bring all these big killer ubers mons and all that so it is quite interesting to see these games because you can see some incredibly effective stuff. So I'm going to lead off with Chinchino here as everyone else is leading off with some pretty intimidating stuff. So. I'm going to go straight for Tail Slap here, I'm just going to slap this thing in the face, just completely slapping it, it's basically happy slaps all around, but I don't kill it, and unfortunately this thing is, uh, unfortunately the Celtic Stag here is going to be able to get off Swords Dance, and as you like to see from Toxic Rock, it does actually break through all the flinches and goes for a Drain Punch, uh, I'm not too sure that this thing can get um, in a focus or something like that, I took a huge risk staying in, but unfortunately I paid price for that, and unfortunately Chinchino goes down, which is a bloody shame, because Chinchino is an awesome Pokemon that can definitely do some damage, so Dragonite actually goes for Dragon Tail, which is an interesting move for the and it does end up missing. So I make another huge misplay here as I expected the Celtic Stag to target me with a Horn Leech here as it does end up killing the Star Raptor here. So I basically click a Flail here and you're about to see the most minimum damage you'll ever see from an Onyx. That does absolutely nothing as Dragonite here is able to set up a Dragon Dance and become easily one of the most terrifying things on the field. So Star Raptor is going to come in and hopefully do its thing here as unfortunately Horn Leech is going to hit the Onyx here and I wasn't too fussed about this so I'm like yes finally my flails can start doing the do some damage here as I'm able to get the weakness policy off. The idea is, you know, sturdy weakness policy, get a rock polish off, you outspeed everything, you outhit everything, but it doesn't seem to work too well. And free for alls would probably be better in singles against opponents who's not expecting it. So, Dragon Dance is also going to do its thing, really setting up as close combat A is going to hit uh, Onyx here, and unfortunately, Onyx is going to go down. So, goodbye, giant phallic looking Pokemon here. I've got some nicknames I'd like to name you, but unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> so, Lima Lima is going to come here, my trusty Slurpuff here, and this is not your typical Slurpuff set. This isn't the um, the overused belly drum one, the one that just everyone uses because, you know, people don't have original thoughts in their head. So, uh, Cotton Guard is going to appear as this is basically a setup one here. I got this video from a strategy video a long time ago. I'm not sure the YouTuber's name. It was either Velisify or Ramos Online or one of them two. And does this thing take a sip of green tea there, clean a long shift at work. So... Noivern, Beartick is going to come in here, and Flamethrower is actually going to hit Beartick here, not kill it, and just get burned, which is very, very unfortunate. That actually does very little damage considering, I wonder if this is Assault Vest, so I'm going to go straight for a Calm Mind here, because I can just set up for days as long as there's no poison on the field, and Isaacon Crash is going to hit Dragonite, and that does a huge chunk of damage, imagine if that was actually um, not burned, that would have been one dead Dragonite here, as Dragon Tail is going to hit Beartick here, send it flying and send it out, which is a damn shame. So, Arbok's on the field here, and Arbok is bloody terrifying to slurp off, because even at plus three, I'm going to take a huge amount of damage from this. So, it's just time to set up as many um, as cotton guards as I can to get up to plus six. So, Dragon Pulse is going to hit Kyogre here. That does a nice little chunk to Kyogre, as it is, um, this Arbok is going to set up a coil and be at plus one. So it's going to be very accurate now, those gunk shots are going to be like 100% accurate or near enough to, either way, not something Slurpuff wants to deal with here, as I'm going to set up Cotton Guard again to try and save my ass, but Boom Burst is actually going to hit everybody here, and Kyogre's actually going to take this thing down with an Ice Beam, just snipe it out the sky, and my god, that's an awful lot of damage, critical hit as well, didn't need the crit, but I, I, you probably could have killed this thing three or four times over with that damage, so I take an absolute champ there, I just, just take that gunk shot like an absolute boss, I'm really glad glad about that, it just shows you how bulky Slurpuff can actually be when built right, I mean, I know I'm at plus 6 defence and there's plus 1, but this is a gunk shot and an Arbok's nothing to scoff at, so Lightning Bolt is going to crit the Arbok here and actually get it, yeah, get it down to a reasonable chunk of health here, but it is going to go for, for a coil as I'm going to go for a calm mind, the thing is I know this Arbok set has got rest and stuff like that, so I need to try and do something to it while I can. But unfortunately, with there being a free for all, and unfortunately, one opponent's out, I've got no choice but to target this Kyogre here. And it actually manages to say it is sheer force, which is a, you know, one of those moves. This Kyogre actually just managed to hit you called a load of times during the stream. It was just absolutely unbelievable. It was the point if you just, you just felt like rage quitting. <laughs> so, Kyogre goes down here, Greninja's gonna come out here, and of course, the final Pokemon from Lauren, which is Kalos here. 
uh, or Kai, so however you pronounce it, but unfortunately Greninja is going to go for a Dark Pulse and it is going to be a draw here, so it's, it's a shame when free falls and like that. I'm looking forward to when actually Battle Royal comes out for some Pokemon Sun and Moon, because that'll sort that problem out. So anyway, this has been Spinning 94 with another free for all battle, and I hope as ever, you all have a nice day.